Greetings, royal family, and welcome to another message by the Honorable Yudhe Wavhe Beit Noon Sophie. Yudhe Wavhe. Now, royal family, this message was taught many years ago by the Honorable Yudhe Wavhe and is being presented to you today by Yahweh's royal priesthood. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at Yahweh's royal priesthood. www.yahweh144 zero 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 dot com and also royal family join us at the university of yahweh where classes are designed for the godhead visit us at www.universityofyahweh.org also, Royal Family, listen to our weekly podcasts by the University of Yahweh, found on most podcast platforms. We look forward to you being there as well. Enjoy, Royal Family. Parable of the leaven. What is the kingdom of God, Yahweh, like? I am the leaven. Leaven is yeast. The question was asked, what is the kingdom of heaven like? What is the kingdom of Yahweh like? In Matthew chapter 13, verses 33, Luke, yeah, Luke chapter 13, verses 20, 21, Questions were asked, what is the kingdom of heaven like? What is the kingdom of Yahweh like? The answer given was, the kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal until the whole was leaven. I am the leaven. The leaven is yeast. And the purpose of yeast is to cause bread to rise. My people in America are the meal. The woman spoken of was also spoken of in Revelations chapter 12 and in many other places, bringing forth a man child who is to rule the earth with the rod of iron. And this woman also represents you. The meal represents our people in an unleavened state, in a dead state. That's why we celebrate the Feast of Unleavened Bread. We have Passover and Feast of Unleavened Bread. Because when we were brought out of Egypt, we were flat. We were not prepared at that time. Moses didn't have the knowledge, nor was it time for us to be raised up to rule the world forever. So we've been celebrating Unleavened Bread for a few thousand years until the leaven has come. So in the New Testament, a parable was given, which is an allegory. All parables are allegories, metaphors, and similes. It is written in such a way so that people, no people, would understand the true meaning of the parable until the Son himself come. And I'm the only one who has ever explained the leaven, the parable of the leaven. The meal also is little different specks of color in it. And one scripture says that my inheritance, all right, is become like a speckled bird, meaning we were all black when we were brought to this country, but because the white man mixed his seed with, with us, then Yahweh's inheritance has become as a speckled bird, meaning more than one color. And meal represents the same thing. If you look at a meal, it's different colors. But the leaven, the yeast would be hidden in the meal, but this leaven yeast has a unique characteristic. You can't see it working, but it's working. You only see the results. 
Therefore, leaven yeast is an agitator. It causes the bread to germinate. If you put yeast in with or leaven in with grape juice and sugar, it'll turn into wine, transform it into another substance. And I am here transforming you, my people, from a downtrodden, uncivilized, nothing people into the rulers of the world. Through the divine, supreme wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh, you're being transformed into a new people. Alcohol will make you high. I'm making you high. The knowledge I'm giving you make you high above all people on the planet Earth. The leaven, I'm germinating the truth in your minds, which will set you free. I cause your mind to be upset, in a commotion, disturbed. And the end result is all of my people will be leavened, raised. Yahweh raised me up, put within me life. And the life that is in me causes life to raise up in you. So I can say that I consciously resurrect you because I am the resurrection. And I am the life of you. So I just give you that as, as a synoptic overview of the purpose of leaven for you who are new. I'm not going back giving you all of it. I'm just giving you the synoptic view because I've been teaching now, teaching this subject since Passover. So now we're into Genesis 12, 3. Read. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. This is what the kingdom of heaven is all about. When asked, what is the kingdom of heaven like? What is the kingdom of Yahweh like? The answer was an allegory, a metaphor, a simile, that which our people would not understand. But this scripture is telling us that an explanation, a part of the explanation of the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yahweh, which is heaven, what it's like, you are a special people. It's bringing you into the knowledge that you are a special people. In fact, you are so special that I will bless everybody that blesses you. The leaven is heaven. So I am heaven. I bring heaven with me. I am heaven. All that heaven is going to be, Yahweh has put it right here. I'm going to build heaven, establish heaven on the earth. I'm born to do it. Everybody else talked about heaven. I am here to establish the kingdom of Yahweh, which is heaven, which shall never be destroyed. I mean, Daniel 2.44. Thank you. In the meantime, Yahweh said, I will bless everybody that blesses you. So if you are down and out, my people, you don't have to be down. And you don't have to be out. Accept your God and live. In the kingdom of Yahweh, you are the blessing. What is the kingdom of Yahweh like? What is the kingdom of heaven of Yahweh like? It is where you, the so-called black man of America, are the blessed ones. You are so blessed that all who bless you will be blessed. Oh, you are so precious. And Yahweh said he loved you so much that if anybody curse you, He'll curse them. Yahweh said, I will curse anybody that curse you. So if you don't like us, you better not curse us. Just be satisfied and don't like us. But don't mumble under your breath. If you do, Yahweh said, he will curse you. Now, if you don't believe that, curse us and check out your life. What is the 
kingdom of Yahweh like? What is the kingdom of heaven like? It is where we have the power to bless all the families of the earth. In us, in us is the blessing. No other people on earth. It's the so-called black man of America. In us, when we return to our father Yahweh, through us, all families of the earth, all nations will be blessed. That means if you're tired of seeing wars on there, famine, hunger, deprivation, you hurry and come to Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Now let's go to Genesis 49, 8. What is the kingdom of Yahweh like? <coughs> Read. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thine hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. That's what's going to happen in the kingdom of Yahweh. Heaven is the kingdom of Yahweh. The kingdom of Yahweh is heaven. What is it like? It is where Judah. Who is Judah? We are Judah. And the book says that all of our brethren, all of our black brethren, white, whatever color, our brethren shall praise who? Judah. So our brethren shall praise us. That's what, that's heaven, isn't it? I mean, we've been cursed. Everybody call us nigger. Hey, nigger! We even call each other nigger. That's not a blessing, is it? We've been talked about and mistreated and abused and walked upon by everybody. That's hell. What is heaven like? Heaven is when everybody praises us. It's the opposite of what we have been living. Praises come to us. To hear our brethren say, praise be to you and your God, Yahweh. <laughs> to hear the other nations clamoring to be a part of us. And it said, our hands would be in the neck of our enemy. That we right here among this devil. Letting you identify who Judah is. That's another way of determining, well, who is Judah? Judah will have his hand in the neck of his enemy. Isn't that heaven to have our hand in control over this devil? You know that heaven. So that's what heaven, that's what the kingdom of Yahweh will be like. We will have control over our enemies. And all of our father's children shall bow down to us. Glory, hallelujah, Yahweh. That's heaven. And that's what's coming. First Chronicles 5, 2. Let us read. For Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler. Chief ruler. Judah is to be the chief ruler. That's what the kingdom of Yahweh is like. That's what the kingdom of heaven is about. Judah becoming the chief ruler. There will be no heaven on earth until Judah is the chief ruler. <clears throat> now do you understand why there's wars in the Middle East and all over the earth? Why? Because we, Judah, are not ruling. Until everything is in its proper order, there's no heaven. We are the people chosen to be the chief ruler of all the nations on earth. The so-called black man of America is to be the chief ruler. And the Bible tells us clearly who it is. What's the name of the chief ruler? Judah. Judah. And Judah is the fourth son of the 12 tribes of Israel.
how many can understand why the white man taught our people the Old Testament is dead? Can you see the mystery now? Because in this Old Testament is our true history. This is our salvation. It lets us know our role in world affairs. No other book on the planet Earth describes our role in world affairs like this book. Some people have kicked the book and told you it's like a snake in your hand. Well, it is. <laughs> if you don't understand it, it is a snake in your hand. Of course it is. So are all the rest of the books. <laughs> all books are a snake in your hand if you don't understand it. And if it doesn't apply to you and me, they're no good anyway. And the only one that describes your and my heaven is this book. And Yahweh raised me up out of this book, in this book, to explain this book to you clearly like nobody else has ever explained it. There are those who have used this book very skillfully. But no one has ever taught us we are Judah, the chief ruler, and then be able to lead us into rulership. See, not only am I telling you who you are, but I am leading you into where you belong. I am here to take you to heaven. How many want to go? <laughs> Where rivers flow. Well, you don't have to die to go to heaven. But the kingdom of Yahweh is where you, the so-called black men of America, are in charge. Now, how could anybody walk out on the knowledge that you are to be the chief ruler how could this be dull news to you? This ought to be very exciting to you. To find out that not only can you go to heaven, but you're in charge of heaven. Through the laws of Yahweh. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. <laughs> And I know the man who made the sun, moon, and stars has the power to make me what he wants me to be. The man who, who made the air that I breathe. Oh yeah, can't nobody stop him from making me be whatever he wants me to be. The man that made the water we drink, he can't stop our people from rising up. Nobody on earth can stop our people from rising up when he is behind our rising. I don't care how hard anybody tries, they can't stop it. Now watch and see. Just watch it. Keep your eye out and see if they can stop our rise. There's no power on earth. All the nations gather together. I'll come and, if all the, I hope they do. All nations get together. Get, all of you gather together in one spot. And I challenge you and I will say to all you nations, why do you heathens rage and, and imagine a vain thing? No, you have gotten together and plotted against Yahweh and his anointed. Yahweh sits in heaven and he laughs at you and holds you in derision. Ha! You imagine a vain thing to try to stop Yahweh from raising our people up. When you hear us talking about it, you ought to know it's real. The fact I'm talking about it establishes its reality. We are the chief ruler. Genesis 27, 29. Read. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Curse be everyone that curses thee, and blessed be he that blesses thee. The kingdom of Yahweh and heaven is letting all the people serve you. We have done the serving for 429 years in slavery and bondage in America. Yahweh promised it would not last forever. He said after 400 years. He didn't say forever, he said 400 years. And, and afterwards, after the 400 years, I will judge. Hmm? 
And not only am I going to judge the people that you serve, I judge you, and then I'm going to bring you out. You can't stay in America. I'm going to bring you out. Not broke, but with great substance. Great substance. How many are ready for your great substance? I'm tired of being broke. You ready? That's heaven, isn't it? Being broke is hell. Being without anything is hell. Serving under a wicked, evil enemy, that's, that's hell. The kingdom of Yahweh is you come out from the hell of white people and you are now in charge of heaven and let other people serve you. Are you ready? And here is the scripture saying, not only should we have a frame of mind to allow the people to serve us, but you must accept the fact that they must also bow down to us. Don't just walk in my face serving me. I will not tolerate your arrogance. Don't you come serving me with your nose in the air. Don't come serving me like you're doing me no favor. Bow yourself down when you come in our presence. This is the chief ruler, Judah. Bow yourself. That's heaven. That's what the kingdom of Yahweh is all about. All the nations will have to bow themselves to you. That's the first part. I'm, I'm just going, going on through this verse. Let the people serve you and the nations bow down to you. Then look at this next part of this verse. Be Lord over thy brethren. You are the Lord. You be Lord. Be Lord. Don't be, don't act like you are the Lord that you are. Be. Don't act like it. Be. That's a positive command. But see, you can't be Lord and be ignorant. Have you not heard that you are God's? Psalms 82, 6. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Be God over your brothers. Be God over the people of the earth. But you can't be God ignorant. It requires supreme wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And I alone possess those keys. If you don't, show me someone else who does. If they're not making you the ruler, if they're not teaching you the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding which will make you the chief ruler, you got the wrong leader. Your leader is going to have you bound down to us. Watch and see. I'm disseminating and teaching the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding which is superior to any knowledge on the earth. I don't care how many Japanese are making Suzuki's and Sony's and Kawasaki's and Datsun's. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that the devil is going to the moon. He can't land in, in Florida. When Yahweh put a cloud out, they have to go to California to land. He's not God. See? Yahweh say you can't land in Cape Canaveral. You got to go to California. If I put a cloud out there, you can't land there either. You have to hang it out of space or make a choice to burn up when your oxygen run out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's not God. Don't you see the white man is not God? He's just fooling you if you're ignorant. Nations of the earth don't have the technology. Only I possess technology. I made the sun, moon, and stars. That's technology. That's technology. <laughs> I put the germ life in a seed and make it grow. That's technology. And make it reproduce itself after its own kind. That no matter how many billions of years it reproduces itself, it come out looking just like an apple, because it always was an apple. When I made it, it was an apple. And the seed I put in it was to produce apples, and it's always been producing apples ever since. That's technology. Only I can make a flying machine to reproduce itself, mosquitoes and birds and things. That's technology. You talk about technology, I made helium. I made hydrogen. And I made oxygen. Then I take two parts. Two parts of what? Hydrogen. Mix it with what? One part of oxygen. Come up with what? Water. That's technology. How 
Hydrogen is a gas. Oxygen is a gas. I mix them together and come up with water. Then I turn around and distill that same water back up into the atmosphere, separate the hydrogen from the oxygen, and make it back into gas again. That's technology. Use my sun to pull it up from the earth. That's technology. That's right. I said I made it. I made all that you see and that which is not seen, seen and unseen. I made nothing and turned around and make something out of nothing. That's technology. The white man can do none of these things. I made the air you breathe, the water you drink, the food you eat, and gave you the life you have. I made a womb, got in it, and came out to raise you up. That's technology. That's technology. You confused about my skin? I'm the mouth of Yahweh. You don't know who's talking? Yahweh is talking. I'm just his mouth. Yahweh raised me up from among you to teach you worship the creator, not the creature. Worship the creator. Worship the creator, not no creature. He gave us a law. He said, bow down. Do not bow yourself down to anything in the heavens above, in the earth in the waters beneath the earth, or anything out of around the earth. Don't bow yourself down to them. Don't serve anything but the Creator. That's what heaven is all about. That's what the kingdom of Yahweh is all about. You becoming one with the Creator. You becoming one with the Creator, Yahweh. That's what it's all about. That's how you have heaven. When you step aside from worshiping Yahweh and begin to worship a white creature or any other creature of any color, you have made a mistake. There's only one man. The rest are children. Yahweh is the only man. The rest are children. We're children of the Most High. He's the only man. That's what that allegory in Parable of the Lemon is all about. That's what the kingdom of Yahweh is all about. We are the ones born, created, to bring the world back to sanity. To stop worshiping creatures. Stop worshiping sex. Stop worshiping materialism. Stop worshiping the things the white man has taught us to worship. Worship the creator. That's our job. And when we teach them to worship the creator, they have to serve us and bow down to us. And we ought to be God over them. Why? Because we're his children. We're his blood sons and daughters. He chose us to make us high over all the nations of the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that you have gained some wisdom, knowledge, and understanding about the parable of the leaven. It has been and is my pleasure to share with you the wisdom of Yahweh. As he gives it to me, I share it with you. And I'm sure that our minds have been lifted up. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding imparted to us is a joy and rejoice into our soul. Praise hey, shall we? Greetings, royal family. Let's talk about the most prestigious private university in the universe, the University of Yahweh. It is here where students, parents, Adults and teachers study the divine mind of Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, thus elevating them to contemplate and understand the loftier concepts and principles, enabling their minds to focus and think on an extraterrestrial level. This intellectual ability and unique 
unique set of skills supersede all base, mundane, and terrestrial thinking, thus allowing one's mind to open up and flourish with an overwhelming abundance of creative ideas and loftier concepts, making life and living more enjoyable. The University of Yahweh is woven deep within the fabric of the moral principles of truth, honesty, integrity, true holiness, righteousness, ethics, and justice for all. The University of Yahweh is designed for the Godhead, and this includes students, parents, adults, and the Godhead. In the University of Yahweh, the online platform, you gain a structured format to the approach of the divine mind of Yudhe Wafe Yahweh. We welcome you to visit our website at www.universityofyahweh.org. This platform is specifically designed for the Godhead and the Godhead family. The 144,000 chosen to rule in righteousness. We look forward to working with you as we prepare for rulership in righteousness. Praise Yute Wafe. Praise Yute Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie Yute Wafe. Shalom, world family. Thank you.